Jeffrey Goroba as was introduced and I'm the director training. May I cut it short? And I bring greetings. Indeed, the IGP congratulates all officers who are graduating now and is that is like well done. So ladies and gentlemen, training is aimed at improving the system of operations, the individual officers, and indeed the UPDF, the UPF, sorry, in general. And this is what the course was designed for, the traffic officers induction course and indeed the IOV induction course. I believe that the aims and objectives of this course or courses were achieved. It is therefore my belief and hope that the knowledge and the skills gained here will be put to effective use and thus improvement of safety on our roads. Quite often, uh, fellow Ugandans say that our roads are bad, that our roads are narrow, but I also want to say that whereas our roads may be a little bit narrow, um, road users, especially drivers, have no discipline. And I can say that again and again and again. For if we do not uh, take charge of our anxieties and impatiences on our roads, even where there is a traffic officer, this is the where there is a traffic officer, someone who is impatient will always cause an accident. So, I suggest, but also request that, we take heart and be patient. If we wanted to be at a particular position or location at 8 in the morning, then we wake up early and try to beat time instead of trying to beat the traffic on the road. So fellow Ugandans, take note and please respect the rules and the regulations that govern the road safety. Um, participants or graduates, as you leave the gates of the CID training school, please take note that the population out there think that Traffic, actually police, is most corrupt among government agencies. As a person, I don't believe that. However, it is incumbent on you, ladies and gentlemen, who are graduating today and those who are already outside there, to... Um, you know, to, to, to make me, you know, or to, to disprove me. So what am I saying? Avoid as much as possible those corrupt tendencies while executing your duties. The director and a few colleagues, RPCs and DPCs, we went, of course, led by the IGP and presented ourselves to the, uh, to the president and this corruption was the issue at hand. So please, please and please, avoid as much as possible any corrupt tendency as you execute your job. Um, apart from that, I think you people have done a great job out there even before receiving this technical knowledge and skills. So congratulations for that work and it is my hope that the skills again 
received here will improve the status and the situation of our roads. And uh, because you are on the roads out there, you are the face of police. So, remain disciplined, focused on your job, be officers of integrity, follow those ethics, and follow the UPF policing ideology, the pro people and the community policing. So wherever you should be, or where, wherever you will be, try as much as possible to educate the population on the importance of the traffic laws and laws so that as we move forward people know what they should be doing when they see a sign post on the road be professional in the way you perform your duties at that point i wish to thank the igp and his deputy for a clear and focused leadership and in as far as training is concerned. Our development partners in training, DIT, I want to say thank you so much. And because our interaction is ongoing, and this is the first ever uh, training where DIT has had an effort in as far as I'm concerned in terms of traffic, but also IOV. Ladies and gentlemen, IOVs, we are going to be looking at you every six months in as far as the rules and the laws are concerned. We are supposed to take back our vehicles for inspection. I expect you to do a better job than you did before you did or you got this knowledge in training. Um, I've been told that uh, so far you have done class B and C and um, we will go ahead and plan for those other classes but also upgrade on your knowledge. So DIT, thank you so much for coming along with us and it is my hope that whenever we have any type of training across the police, you will be available to give guidance and direction as we build to professionalize the Uganda police force. Uh, my colleague director, you see, uh, Mr. Noabine was my deputy as director of training. So if he had not thought about training, then I would have not seen myself as having mentored him properly to deserve to be a director. So thank you so much, my colleague. And I want to say that I will continue supporting you or the directorate of HRD training, whether I'm there or not will continue to help you to improve and professionalize the traffic directorate. To the commandant and your team, thank you so much for a job well done, selecting those um, uh, lecturers and instructors who came here to give lectures of opportunity in those areas that you deemed necessary and critical to traffic training. I've already talked to um, our colleague, good citizens of Uganda. Let's follow the rules and regulations. Let's follow the laws of Uganda in as far as road use is concerned for us, for, for all of us to be safe on our roads. Our roads are okay. 
there are places which is worse and I don't want to mention names like somebody did the other day um, at this moment I also want to thank the band for the entertainment thank you so much I love the band I love the band and, and, and uh, whenever you play music out there those you young Ugandans who have Uganda police force as their first choice actually hasten the movement to join the Uganda police. So thank you so much. Our friends, of course, uh, being here adds value to what we do, the fourth estate. Finally, um, our graduates go out there and make us proud. To that end, once again, I congratulate you, and on this note, I take this opportunity on behalf of the Inspector General of Police to declare the Gazette the Officers Traffic and IOV Officers Course closed. God bless you.